Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to combine these two images here as a double exposure using Nick Collection to create this image and how to combine these two images as a double exposure to create this image. Now I'm going to be using Photolab 6 to get the images into Nick Collection and do some minor editing but Nick Collection actually comes with a full license to Photolab 5, albeit it's the previous version, but it's still a very powerful photo editor. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. Now, when you do double exposures, generally you want to pick two images, right, uh, to do the double exposure. And one should be uh, very high contrast, and the other one can be just about anything. So in this case, I have a silhouette of a person, and I'm just going to click on the Nick Collection, and I'm going to double check my export settings. And I want to make sure I'm exporting in the proper format. So in this case, I'm just going to export as JPEG because I'm working with a JPEG image and just click OK. And then I just have to select Analog Effects Pro 3 where the double exposure uh, module is located. All right, um, then I'll just click on double exposure and I can select one of the presets, but all that does really is double expose the same image over the top of itself, which can give you some pretty cool effects too. But we'll just pick any one here. I'll pick the first one. And what I want to do is actually overlay those red leaves on top of this image. So I'll go into that folder and I'll select those red leaves and click open. And you need to select a JPEG or a TIFF, otherwise you'll need to export the, uh, the leaves as a JPEG or TIFF. But in this case, I'm just importing it as a JPEG. Now, uh, what I need to do is sort of balance this exposure. So meaning I want one exposure to be a little stronger than the other. And you can do that with the slider here. So if I slide to the left, that makes the first exposure more dominant. And if I slide all the way to the right, it makes the second exposure more dominant. So let's just go over to the left a little bit so we get a nice silhouette with the leaves inside. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just arrange this second image. I can even resize it so I get more leaves in the image. And I think that looks pretty good right there. Now let me go ahead and brighten up the second image. And these controls only affect the second image. So I'll make that brighter. And then if I want to adjust the overall image brightness, I can do that here. We'll just make that a little bit brighter. And I think that's all I need to do. So I'm going to click Apply. And I'm just going to ignore this non-destructive edits. I never select that myself. But I will explain that in another tutorial. So you can see it's created the double image. And then from here, I just need to... Uh, Maybe make one more slight adjustment. Maybe increase the highlights to get a little more separation. And then we'll just do a square crop or one by one. And cut off a little bit of the bottom there, like so. Now in this next example, I want to merge this blue hour shot together with the actual fireworks that came later that evening. However, I didn't expose these images too well, so I'm going to have to do a little bit of editing before I take them into Nick Collection. Also, I'm going to be working with raw images, and Nick Collection doesn't work with raw images directly. You have to export these as a TIFF image or JPEG, but that's okay because when we do that, we actually export all of the corrections into Nick Collection so we get nice clean images to work with. So let's go ahead and start with the first one. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add the Deep Prime Noise Correction. And I'll just use the default settings. And then I'm going to go over and just apply the Smart Lighting. Let's try Strong. That looks pretty good. And I think that's all I need to do here. So let's go ahead and export this into Nick Collection. And I'm going to double check my export settings to make sure I am exporting as TIFF and 16-bit. And we'll say OK. And then we'll go into Analog Effects Pro. And right now, it takes about uh, 10 or 15 seconds for it to process the image, uh, export it as a TIFF file, and bring it into Nick Collection. So we'll wait for that. OK, and as you can see here, we have a nice clean image. 
Now, let's go ahead and select the double exposure, and we'll select the first uh, module here, or preset. Now, let's go back into Photo Lab. All right, now let's select the next image, and we're going to do the exact same thing. I'm just going to apply the Deep Prime XD, default settings. Go over here, and I want to adjust the exposure. We'll apply the strong DxO Smart Lighting to brighten that up. I think maybe, maybe another half a stop. Or so, yeah, maybe a full, st almost a full stop there. That looks good. Now I can't export this directly into Nick Collection because I already have a file open in Nick Collection. So what I'm going to do is export this from PhotoLab 6 as a TIFF into the same folder. So we'll do export to disk, and I'm going to select TIFF here. And I'm going to select export as TIFF here, 16-bit, to the original M image folder and just click export and that's going to export all of the uh, DxO noise corrections and uh, exposure adjustments I did and when it's done we'll see it pop up right here and that looks good okay so let's go back into Nick collection and now I'm going to go down here and change the double exposure image to or the second exposure image to, let me go to that folder. It's way down here in the boat show. And I'm gonna go down here and say, just show me the TIFF images because I don't wanna accidentally pull a JPEG. All right, so it brought that in. And now let me just make a quick adjustment here. And I'm going to shrink it a little bit because it's touching the top a little bit too much. Yeah, that looks good. And align this. Now, if I had take, if I'd aligned this properly when I took the shot to begin with, I could have lined up the Ferris wheel nicely here. But that's okay. Now, let's uh, do the exposure balance. And that looks like that's not the direction I'm going to go. So I'll go the other direction. Yeah, that's looking good. I like how the water down here is starting to brighten up. Let me see if I can brighten the exposure a bit. Yeah, like that. And then we'll brighten the overall exposure using this slider. And then I'm going to do one more advanced thing here, and that's use one of the control points on the fireworks themselves, because I want to saturate these a little bit more. And let me check my masking, so I'm going to hit the M key. So I'm just really only affecting the uh, fireworks, but, but let me see if I can get a little bit more of the fireworks. So let's back off the luminance masking. Oh, uh, that's not doing it. Let's do the chrome. Yeah, there we go. Now we're getting more of the fireworks that I want. Perfect, and a little bit less of the background. Okay, that looks good. Turn off the mask. And you can you can select the mask here, over here. I was just using the shortcut key. Now what I want to do is just use the sliders below the control point selection here. And I'm going to increase the saturation. Yeah, that looks really good. Maybe a bit too much, but that's okay. And I think we're done here. So let's go ahead and click Apply. And again, I'm not going to uh, use non-destructive edits. And it brought it in over here. So let's just do a quick edit here. So what I'm going to do is just do another square crop. And just adjust that slightly. And I think we're done. Now I'm going to be doing more tutorials showing you how to use the Nick Collection in PhotoLab. And if you don't have this software already, I have my affiliate links down below. You can download a free trial. And as I said, the Nick Collection actually comes with a full license to PhotoLab 5. Now granted, it's the previous version and doesn't have the fancy Deep Prime uh, noise reduction module, but it's still a very competent photo editor. So with that said, I appreciate you watching and I hope to see you again soon.